Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw these six circles using a for loop. I made a series of videos on introduction to creative coding and in today's video, we're going to focus on the concept of for loop. How we're going to approach this is that first, we're going to draw the circles, but we're not going to use the for loop yet. We're just going to draw it using multiple ellipse functions. Then I'm going to show you how we can use a for loop to draw these circles and then we're going to color it. We're going to use a function ellipse to draw the six circles and the ellipse function takes in a total of four arguments. The first two are the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle, and then the third and the fourth are the width and the height of the circles. Since we're going to draw these circles at the center of the canvas, we can just put width divided it by 2 and height divided it by 2, right? Width and height are built-in variables within p5.js and it is actually the value that we give when we use the function create canvas. So width divided by 2 would be 200 and height divided by 2 would be 200 as well. And then we're going to start with the biggest circles which is at a diameter of 300. And then since we're going to draw a total of six circles, right? I'm just going to copy and paste six times one two three four five six these circles are going to have the size that is 50 pixels smaller than the previous one Do you know the reason why I put the biggest circle at the bottom? It is because when we call these functions, the circle is drawn one over another. So if you were to put, let's say you put this one, which is smaller on top, right? The bigger one would be on top of the smaller one and you cannot see the smaller one. And that's why you want to start with the big one first. But this is not actually how we want to draw the ellipse, right? Because we have almost the same ellipse functions here. What we want to do is that we want to use a for loop. And the for loop, you need to put in three things. The first one is the counter variable, which we're going to call i. And when i is less than what? When i is less than 6, right? We want to draw a total of 6 circles, starting from 0 to 5, right? And now what we can do is that we can put in the ellipse function here. The first two arguments will be width divided by 2 and height divided by 2. But what would be our third and fourth argument? Let's look at this. 300, 250, 200, 150, 150. Everything starts from 300, right? And then we divide it by what? i times 50, right? Do you see how that works? Because the first one when i equals to 0, 0 times 50 is 0. So we get an ellipse of size 300 by 300. The second one when i equals to 1, 1 times 50 is 50. So we get 250, 250, and so on. So each of the circles is 50 times i smaller than the first one. Okay. So now we can delete this and we still get the same thing. Now what we want to do is that we want to color the circle, right? So seeing from the example, I put the stroke weight as zero, so no strokes. So it's as if there's no lines here and it's one circle. What we want to do next is that we need to put in fill. So what we had initially is that the smallest circle is of the color white and it, it gets darker as the circle gets bigger, right? So we could start with 250 and then I'm going to time it by i. But if I just multiply it by i, that means let's, let's try it. You can see that when i equals to 0, fill of that is 0 
right? So that's the biggest one. But when i equals to 1, you can see that it's 255 times 1, which is 255, which is white. And if i is more than 1, then it's 255 times that number. And with the fill function, it caps at the number 255. And that's why you can see that there's only one black and then the rest is white. So what we can do is such that the argument will not be more than 255. We can divide this i by the largest i, which is 5. When i equals to 5, that's when the argument will be equal to 255. Let's try it. So now what you see is that we have a grayscale color that ranges from white in the smallest circle to black in the largest circle. It is very easy to use a for loop to call the same type of functions, right? In this case, an ellipse function. What if you try it with different kinds of shapes or the number of circles that you want to draw? And also, you can also change the color here. I only do it in grayscale. What if you do it in different colors to make it a little bit more exciting? Give it a try.